These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm. Or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you. Suppose that we were dealing with, say, x to the first power. How could I simplify that? What's x? Oh, just x. Just x. Good. How would I simplify this? One. Which might seem surprising, so it's good that you knew that. Some people might think this is zero, but it's really one. How about this? So this does not indicate a negative number, is the important thing. It really indicates the reciprocal of, of x cubed, because this is the reciprocal of x cubed. So what would this be? So, is this a negative number? No. Okay, that's the point I wanted to make. Negative exponents don't mean negative numbers. They mean reciprocals. Negative exponents don't mean negative numbers. They mean reciprocals. What does this mean? What would be another way of saying what's encapsulated in that statement? That's right. Okay. Um, well, you might you might know the reason we're going over this right now is that this portion of the book uses uh, uh, the uh, the symbol e and natural logs quite a bit, and oftentimes people can't get the problems right because they're not comfortable with that math. So it's important for us to get comfortable with this. So it's crucial to see that this means this. This is called the logarithm base e, and you can kind of see why because here we're using e as a base. I, of course, here, this is an exponent, and this is the base. Exponent 1, base x. Exponent 0, base x. Exponent negative 3, base x. Well, here I have exponent y and base e. So this is the logarithm base e, the natural log. So oftentimes you'll have an equation where you need to get rid of the natural log. Well, how can you do that? You can get rid of the natural log by rewriting it like this. For example, suppose I wanted to solve this equation for x. How can I solve this for x? by writing it like this, and now it's solved for x. So that's probably the simplest way to solve an, something for x if it's inside of a log. Just rewrite it without the log with something to the power of e. For example, how would I solve this for z? E to the fourth. Yeah, z equals e to the fourth. And then you could use your calculator to figure out what z is, right? Because there's an e button on your calculator. All right, so this is how we can solve when the variable in, is inside the logarithm. By the way, what does this mean? Because this is called the logarithm base 10. This is the logarithm base 10, and this is the logarithm base e. I'm mentioning this because this is also something your instructor mentioned a bit in the lecture notes 11. Your instructor used both natural and regular logs. Um, so if you see ln, that's the natural log, which is base e. And if you see log, that's the logarithm base 10. I think those are the only logs we'll need to deal with. So again, if I had to solve this for x, well, if I wanted to solve this for x, I wouldn't use e, I would use 10. Does anyone know another way to rewrite this? ln x. It's not too hard to prove this, but we won't bother with any proofs. We'll just write down the, the facts that you need to know about logarithms. Uh, let's see, maybe uh, while we're at it, maybe we should have said, suppose you've got x uh, to the y and z 
z to the w, how can I rewrite? How can I rewrite this? X, X times y, y to y. X. I what's that? X three. It's X y to the y, y power w. times X to the w power. X. X is the y plus w. X. Is in parentheses y plus w. To the y plus w power. <laughs> okay. X to the y. All right. So when you're multiplying things with the same base, you add the exponents. You might be inclined to multiply the exponents, but no. When you're multiplying things with the same base, you add the exponents. So notice, would you add the exponents here? No. Even though this is where it seems logical, because this is an addition. So we're not going to learn anything you can do to this. For, for our purposes, you can't do anything with this. There are some things you could do, but nothing that's useful for our purposes. So for our purposes, there is no useful re way to rewrite this. But there is a useful way to rewrite this. So what is that sign going to be? This down here? Yeah, is it going to be at, um, You just have to leave it the way it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's nothing useful we can do to rewrite this. You have, the key thing is you have to resist the temptation to write it like this. This is what you do when you're multiplying things oh, with the I same base. Oh, I would like two x and then one. Or resist the temptation to do anything that might seem clever. Yeah, that's right. Um, so th there's nothing useful that we can do, at least for the purposes of our class, with this expression. You just leave it the way it is. Okay. But this, there is something very useful we can do. It turns out that you could use this to prove this, but we won't bother doing that. All right, so um, how about if we have x to y over x to the w, how would I rewrite that? X to y minus w. That's kind of logical because this is, multiplication is kind of similar to division, addition is kind of a counterpart to subtraction. How could you rewrite this? Log x minus y. And again, it's possible to use this to prove this, even though we won't bother doing that. Um, notice that logarithms are exponents. For example, here the logarithm is y, and it's the exponent. Here the logarithm is 4, which is the exponent. And here the logarithm is y, which is the exponent. Okay. So um, that would be a way that we can see the connection between this and this. But it's not that obvious a connection. By the way, Is there any way to simplify this? No. No, there's no thing, nothing we can do. It might be very tempting to write this like this, or to confuse it with this, but this is something that we just can't do anything with. You can simplify logs of products, not logs of sums. And that's similar to how we have a rule for a product here, but not a rule for a sum. So there's nothing we can do with this. By the way, I'm focusing on natural logs here because they're more important in this chapter, but these would be true for log base 10 as well. Log base 10 would also have a rule like this and a rule like this. How could I rewrite this? Y ln x. Yeah, this is a very important rule. So something very useful about logs is they bring down exponents. Logarithms simplify your life by bringing down the exponent. How would we solve this equation for x? How can I solve this equation for x? Put first x down, and then ln z. Ln 2? I mean, uh, it's 2. And I'm sorry, this is supposed to be a 2. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, I saw that z is a Yeah, usually I try to write a z like this oh, okay. for that reason. <laughs> okay. Eight. And now we're pretty much home free. Now we can just divide by log 2 and do that on our calculator. So this is one indication of how this is useful to us. 